the seven components of great health. Um, hi, Bob McCauley, um, Watershed Wellness Center, watershed.net. And I wanted to explain to you my health protocol. It's called The Seven Components of Great Health. Um, it's, it comes from a book that I wrote called Achieving Great Health. And um, so here they are. Component number one is water. Water is the cor cornerstone of health. It is the most important element we, can, we need for the body. Uh, the kind of water you don't want to drink is purified or reverse osmosis. Um, that's water that has had all the minerals taken out. It's very dangerous. It's going to leach minerals out of your body. Uh, you, if you want to drink uh, spring water, that's usually pretty good. Um, and, you know, really well filtered tap water. Unless you really know your water is contaminated with something, you might want to purify it first through reverse osmosis or distillation and then add minerals back in so you can remineralize it and then you're okay. The best water to drink by far is ionized water. You're running the water over positive negative electrodes, you're creating positive negative ions in the water, and then you're separating the waters. One side becomes very acid, one side becomes very, very alkaline. You drink the alkaline one, it is a powerful antioxidant, it has two antioxidant qualities, it has uh, an abundance of electrons, uh, which are free radical scavengers, and it has a negative charge, a negative ORP, oxidation reduction potential which is the most important term you can ever learn about health um, because everything you put into your body either it reduces or increases oxidation. So it has a negative ORP and, and reduces the oxidation of your body, so you rejuvenate you at a cellular level. Um, it also is extremely alkaline, uh, helps raise the body pH. Uh, all disease lives in an acid environment and won't live in, an, in a neutral or an alkaline environment in your body, so you want to try to raise that up. And then uh, you've got a, it's a very, what they call structured water. It's hexagonal sided, uh, six sided water. The water molecule clusters uh, are very, very small, very tight. They're very penetrating. They get in and they uh, hydrate the body and the tissues extremely well. And then push out all the things that don't belong there, which we call toxins. So uh, it's extremely detoxifying. So that's number one, ionized water. I drink a gallon and a half, sometimes as much as two gallons every single day. Um, I've been doing it for I have 14, 15 years now, so, um, and I'm doing great. I feel fantastic. So this idea that you can't drink it for too long and a lot of detractors say uh, it's not good for you after five years or something, uh, they just don't know what they're talking about. Uh, component number two, spiruline and chlorella, two types of algae, what we ought to use for our protein rather than animal protein, meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. I promote a vegan diet, so no meat, fish, eggs, or dairy are in my diet at all. And um, spirulina and chlorella are the most nutritionally dense foods in the world. Uh, they have the broadest array of nutrients of any foods in the world. Uh, they are the ultimate superfoods. Uh, without any doubt, nothing comes close to the, these two foods. And they are complete foods. They have fats, proteins, carbohydrates. So you can live on these foods exclusively and be very, very healthy. But my main thrust is that uh, it has the protein that we need, and uh, this is what a lot of vegetarians and vegans they don't get the protein and um, and that that way they don't what do well on the vegan diet and it's because they don't have algae in their diet it's very very important uh, spirulina and chlorella component number three probiotics the friendly bacteria for your body creates B vitamins uh, keeps your digestive tract clean helps you absorb nutrients uh, very very important helps uh, control overgrowths of yeast and mold fungus that kind of thing um, and the two most kind common kinds of uh, of bacteria are acidophilus and bifidus. I take them every day. If you want to use fermented foods, um, that's also good. I, I promote that a lot as well. Um, but I really, really am for probiotics and taking those each and every day. I basically have some a little bit with every every time I have something to eat, I have some probiotics. Uh, but at least once a day, you you know, build up in your body and through your digestive tract and begin to cultivate and, and grow on its own if you have a clean digestive tract. Component number four: raw fruits and vegetables. I live exclusively on a raw food diet. Um, you know, I may slip up here and there or whatever, but I try to be 100% raw as much as I possibly can, and I have a broad array of raw fruits and vegetables in my diet. Number one, we want them for the enzymes. Everything we do is a complicated sequence of enzymic reactions, and, and yet we uh, constantly uh, deplete our bodies 
of, of enzymes, and enzymes are kind of like a bank account, so once you deplete them, you've got to replace them well. Um, you need to constantly add more raw fruits and vegetables to your diet so you get the enzymes, and that's it's key that we get fresh raw fruits and vegetables. Uh, during the winter, I do a lot of sprouting. During the summer, I have a huge garden, so I'm always getting raw fruits and vegetables, and I get as many different possible uh, or different ones as I possibly can in my diet every single year. I probably eat anywhere from 250 to 300 different foods every single year, sometimes very, very small amounts, but uh, it's all about uh, variety, great dairy variety. When you cook it, you kill the enzymes, and then you chemically scramble the food, and the body really no longer recognizes it for what it is. And also, uh, like ionized water, um, it has an abundance of electrons, raw fruits and vegetables has a negative charge and very very alkalizing for the body it's also very detoxifying it pulls out things that don't belong in the body component number five uh, angstrom minerals uh, it's very important that we become mineralized every metabolic process in the body depends on, on minerals I say all the time that minerals are the, are the keys that jumpstart the uh, the engine of our health and uh, they're very, very important. For instance, uh, you're, you don't have copper, your hair turns gray. Um, gold is great for sleeping. Uh, magnesium for your heart, calcium for your bones, I and mean, you could go on. Um, but the angstrom refers to the size of the minerals. You take a small amount of this liquid, put it under your tongue, and it, it goes directly into the uh, body through the sublingual tongue, or su I'm sorry, sub sublingual gland underneath the tongue, and uh, hits the bloodstream, gets the, uh, distributed throughout the body very, very quickly, and your body will adjust and start using these minerals. Uh, very important that we are mineralized at all time, no doubt about it. Um, component number six, daily exercise. Not only that, but vigorous exercise. I r highly recommend cardiovascular workouts 15 to 30 minutes a day, every single day. Uh, so you're running, you're swimming, you're walking, whatever, whatever it takes you to bring your heart rate up to at least 100, 120 and maintain it for 15 to 30 minutes. I'm a big runner. I go out and run every single day. You know, I do, I, I, you know, always work with the arms. I lift weights. Uh, I'm not crazy, going crazy with the weights or anything. I do Taekwondo, but that cardiovascular every single day, 15 to 30 minutes, I never miss it. It's a, you know, um, exercise builds the immune system and, and, and makes us healthy in ways that nutrients and water just can't do. Component number seven, last but not least, is keeping a positive mental attitude. And that is, you know, all the things that just, you know, if you, if, if you do all the other six components and number seven, your brain, this, this right here, this upstairs is against you, you're not going to make it. This has got to remain positive. So it's your spiritual side. Um, it's, you know, your prayerful side, your meditation. Um, and you know, there's, there's, of course, there's crossovers between these last two about, you say, yoga or qigong, uh, which I practice all the time myself. I really love doing Qigong, which is kind of energy work. Um, so a lot of people say that's meditation, but yet that's exercise. And yeah, there's, there's crossovers. So, um, you know, they're, they're all good. There's all sorts of different, what I call more modalities that are part exercise or no exercise and just, you know, meditation, keeping that mental attitude. But, you, you know, very, very important for your health. And again, having that spiritual side, you've got to have it. Um, so those are the seven components of, of health, ionized water, spirulina and chlorella, raw fruits and vegetables, um, you know, probiotics, angstrom minerals, um, exercise, positive mental attitude. I guarantee you, folks, do those all the time and you will be very, very healthy.